23rd goal of the season for Arsenal. But here's Birchier for Ipswich. Oh, what a mistake! Mariner! Sort of Robson, the first Robson side that got to the, you know challenging for the challenging for the league, got into UEFA Cup. Um, the first sort of, as I said before, big signing of that side was um, really David Johnson, who signed from Everton. Right. David Johnson the first, yeah, David Johnson the first, who, who signed from Everton in I don't know seventy two, seventy three season, and he was um, you know say he formed a great partnership with uh, with Trevor Wymark up front. Then Johnson leaves. So where does Johnson go? Summer nineteen seventy six, <laughs> Liverpool. And right. has a stellar, pretty much stellar. And is he the, I, was he the super sub, or am I thinking of no, David Fair Fair Fluff? Fluff. Fair Right, Fluff. okay, yeah. yeah, no. Um, Johnson Johnson went to Liverpool, and um, yeah, I think we start the seventy six, seventy seven. Well, ultimately, we finished third. I think ultimately that season, which I'll come on to in a minute, we finished third, seventy six, seventy seven season. Um, and he signs Paul Mariner in October, late September, October that year. Um, really, as a, a you know, as a replacement for David Johnson, although. Perhaps slightly different players. Johnson was slighter, not as big, quick, very quick. Mariner, proper big centre forward. Big transfer fee. Well, yeah, an exchange about about I think two hundred and twenty thousand with players going the other way to Plymouth. Um, two hundred twenty thousand players. Um, Terry Austin, who was a striker, and John John Pedelty, who came through our youth system, played in the youth cup winning teams, went to um, went to uh, Plymouth. What's, the other- what's the sort of transfer record at this? Has Clive Allen gone yet? No, 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 70, crikey, 76, blimey. Um, well, when Trevor, Trevor, Fra- Trevor Francis was... Dalgleish f- was 400. Dalgleish was 477. Right. And Keegan, I think, was about the same when he went, went, to, when he went to Hamburg. Yeah, um, and the first million player on player was Trevor Francis in 79. So, it's still a so bit, this is a lot of money. Still a bit of way to go. Yeah, for Ipswich, it, it, I, I assume it, it, must for anyone. Been, it must have been at that stage. Um so he basically comes in, as I say, as a as a replacement for, uh, uh, for Johnson. Where where are Plymouth in the in the pyramid? Wow, well, they I, they would have been. So we, we're looking. Obviously, we're in Division One. Obviously, Premier Division One, Division Two. I reckon they're Division Three. I reckon they're Division Three. Possibly lower lower part of Division Two, but I think Gang- they might gamble, have been. Gamble signing. I guess so. Yeah. So I, I think it certainly scored a few goals for um, certainly a few goals for Plymouth. And we're in direct competition with West Brom, and I think more closely with West Ham for him. Right, okay. Um, so a good sign, and, and this is a really recurring theme with a lot of these players I've mentioned. Makes his debut against Man United at Old Trafford. <laughs> right. Bizarre. And another recurring theme is we win 1-0. Wow. <laughs> he doesn't score. However, his first home game, which we covered a few years back in the Trevor Weimark, um, the Trevor Weimark spot, was the um, 7-0. That was his first home game? Yeah. The 7 <laughs> Whack. <laughs> the 7-0 West Brom, whereas Ben quite rightly says, we've seen that, where he sort of gets the ball, breaks down in midfield, gets the ball in midfield, sort of beats one, brings it inside and sort of laces one in for about 30 yards, doesn't That's it? not even the best goal of that game, though, uh, is it? That's not even in the top two. <laughs> <laughs> So immediate sort of, I suppose if you come in on a seven nil win, you're coming in. Yeah, at a good immediate time, yeah. immediate impact. And I think the next game, I, I didn't go to this game. I seem to remember was I think this was on match of the day. I seem to remember this game uh, was away at Middlesbrough Schools in that one with a header from a corner two nil. There was another game again that we, which is spoken about, which is quite apt, which is spoken about Liverpool and how good they were about that time. I remember a game again, one of his first home games, maybe early December that year, where he scores an unbelievable header and we beat Liverpool one nil, which I think takes us to the top that season but yeah just just hung in the air and powered it in so tell me on. tell me about his his playing style then Dave oh mate yeah Mariner I think had everything a good centre forward big strong um, good hold up play do you know why I'm smiling I'm getting so excited because we asked to compare I just thought of Drogba when you said that yeah you know what that's not a bad chat again you know you're talking 30, 30 I know, years I know, on I know, Drogba, I know, but, Drogba yeah. more athletic as players generally are but you know, and Mariner could take, and that's you know he's playing in an era when you know defenders would give you stick, and mate, he could take it, but he could give it. He, I've seen Mariner give give defenders the elbow, and you know, hard man, hard man, great player, great touch as well, just a good yeah. touch. And again, I suppose it says a lot about why Mark had the partnership with Johnson, but struck up a really, really good partnership with uh, with certainly with with why Mark to begin with, and of course the next season, um, of course you come into the next season, which was the um, the cup winning season, right. 
Um, and did, where, where did Mariner have influence on the cup run? He scored seven goals in the cup run. He scored seven yeah, goals? He scored no, seven. he didn't. He did score seven in the cup run. What's the record for scoring goals? Uh, there's it? one or two players, I think, that have scored in every single round of the cup. I, I know, think I know Jeff Astor. Rush. Rush right, well, yeah, Rush was, was prolific cup scorer. I think Jeff Astor did it for West Brom. I want to say Osgood might have done, although ah, for Osgood might have done. But one of those was, of course... That he scored in the replay. I don't think he scored at Wembley. Anyway, um, didn't score in a semi-final final, but that included a hat trick at the infamous Millwall. Oh, away game. he got the hat trick. Yeah, which we already touched on the George Burley blast and the uh, what's your favourite goal? Oh, the John Wall volley, isn't it? Oh, don't. <laughs> so he instance. scored. So um, I mean, and again in that in that um, in that cup final season, twenty league and cup goals in fifty three games. Um, 22 goals again in, in the next season 79-80 when we finished third again um, including his best league total 17 that season in the league and then 80-81 um, <laughs> he scored 26 goals in our UEFA Cup winning campaign although he did play jokingly um, 58 games but still oh, it's a great total great total still yeah. oh, Russell Osman was the only player to play all the league games that year how many 66 <laughs> sorry league all the games league 66 UEFA games. Cup FA games 66 games well, wait, and, what um, day of the week were the UEFA Cup games were they Thursdays <sighs> no Wednesdays Wednesdays, Wednesdays. Right. put that into context and again you sort of bang on about this over the years Villa won the league weren't in Europe that year 14 players uh, 14 players however um, got knocked out first round of the league cup we knocked them out third round I think they played 44 games that's the sort of difference here. Wow. But anyway, there you go. Um, so what a player. And again, he was part of that, you know, the, the, when the team evolved and the team changed, he was the, the sort of the focal point of that front three of um, Brazil, Mariner and Gates. With, he, would play, he would play down the middle. Brazil would play off him left, um, dynamite left foot. And Eric Gates would play in that little, what we would call, I suppose, number 10 position, that little position right. in the hole behind him. So anyway, so, you know, town regular, um, and he left when the team started to break up in 84. He left under a little bit of a cloud, I think. Him and, and why so? Him and Walkie put in, um, reportedly put in transfer requests for an extortionate sum of, they wanted to earn £1,000 a week. Right. Which doesn't sound much these days, but for professional footballers anyway. And um, yeah, a bit of a thing. His last town game was the game against Coventry when Dazell came on to score when he was still at Chantley School. One door closes, there you another go. door opens. So, 1984. So. Um, and again, you know, under contract, running down, things like that, he left for Arsenal for £150,000, which is, again, doesn't seem too much. Which is half it? of what he oh, signed for, yeah. Amazing. So, when, when does he join Arsenal? Um, he joins Arsenal in uh, 1984, um, goes on to play, still playing, we'll get on to his England career in a minute, went on to play for Arsenal for, must be three or four seasons, I guess, 70 games, 17 goals yeah. with Arsenal. Then he went on, I remember him playing for Portsmouth down here when Portsmouth got up the first time, like mid 80s, I'm sure I'm sure he played in that team because he played and I think Kevin, o, they Kevin O'Callaghan as well playing for him as right. well at the time. Um and then, you know, England, I mean, this is how much of an impact he had at Ipswich. So he comes from Plymouth, who we think are either lower Division 2 or, or fairly high up in Division 3. And within five months, he's playing for England. Crazy. Incredible, isn't it? Five months playing for England. Um, you playing uh, any World Cups? Yeah. Oh, well, go on to that. So he, his England career, from 77 through to 85, 35 caps, 13 goals, ever present in the 1982 World Cup. Really? Because obviously we didn't qualify for 78. Um, and I think... I think Robson, I mean, 86, he was being touted as even, I think he must have been still back end of his Arsenal career at 86. That was Beardsley and Lineker. Though, yeah, it was, it? but I think yeah. he, he was, may have been in the original, I used to pick a squad of about 40, didn't they, originally, and trim them down to the last 22 or whatever. I think he may have even been in the original squad, but obviously Robson, you know, he didn't he didn't, he didn't didn't go, perhaps. Robson obviously felt he was past his best. Um, and I remember him scoring England goals, notable England goal. I remember him scoring, looked like we weren't going to qualify for the 82 World Cup, which would have been the third in a row, for Christ's sake. We wouldn't have qualified for we've been beaten by Norway and um, Switzerland I think that's the one that with the I think it was the Norwegian could have been the Swiss commentator for Maggie Thatcher uh, your Norway. boys Norway wasn't yeah, it that, yeah. was, that was that that was that game um, your boys took a hell of a beating hell, hell of, of a beating, beating. yeah bloody and, owl <laughs> oh yeah and then she he um, <laughs> lost it he um, <laughs> What was I going to... Yeah, so, so he played eight, ever-present 82 World Cup, but scored the goal that effectively got us there was a home game. We looked virtually down and out and some re- 
ridiculous results conspired. So we still went through. We needed to beat Hungary at Wembley in late uh, in eighty one, and he scores the goal that gets us to the World Cup. I think he had a run of uh, goals for England. This might be worth Wigan. He had a run of about six or seven games where he scored consecutive, which he scored consecutively. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lead, I think leading in that World Cup because he scored in the. He scored in the very first game, the France game, you know, the butcher flick on and the 13 second Robson goal. He scored in that game. Don't think he scored in the next game. Which I think so, what am I looking up? England records, right? WayneRooney.com oh, for every England record. Start <laughs> yeah. me on that, please. Oh, anyway. should, it's a great, that's a great, yeah, we shouldn't knock him. That's a, that's a great achievement. He's going to score. He's, he's going to set a record that probably ain't ever going to be beaten, is it? Unlikely. No, nah, no. Nah. Anyway. Um, so he leaves Arsenal, said Portsmouth. Then he goes on to management. He manages over. He manages New England Revolution over in right. the states. Um, and Is this in the in the Nazzle days? I think it perhaps was. So that would have been early nineties, I guess. Something oh, like that. No, no, I was no, thinking no. of yeah. Oh, I, wait, I was, wait, I was, wait, I was, no, of course it wouldn't. No, no, no. It would have been. I, I was I way guess back. It would, yeah. I guess it would have been early mid nineties. And then of course he ma- well, even later than that. He must have been over there quite a while. So I think in Richmond he was coaching, so right? Coaching and managing over there. Then. Um, then he had a spell at Plymouth, and I remember coming here. They won, and, and they they won. They won, they yeah, won. and they yeah. were terrible as well. And yeah, they, yeah, we and they were beat us. just shocking. Yeah, and um, I think also coached at Toronto. Great hair, but cut. yeah, what a fantastic player. Good, good servant to England. I mean, shows you know, ever present, ever present. Best at the days World at Cup. Ipswich, though. Yeah, oh, fantastic player. Just yeah, one of the most complete all round centre forwards. And Drogba is not a bad shout. A more yeah, a more athletic Mariner of Drogba. That's a pretty good shout actually. Yeah. Just great, great, great player. If Berahino's worth twenty five million, oh, well, we're going to do this. We're going to do, do this. Do this at all, the end. But. The entire Ipswich squad is worth a billion. Pounds. I think it could be. I think it could be more than that. <laughs> yeah. I think it could be heading up, heading up to comfortably the 500 million mark, but uh, <laughs> you can just wait till I get under the next players. But um, yeah, great, great, great player. Ball of the ball. Brazil. Turning well inside Van der Meer. Mariner! Well beaten, number three. What a lovely touch. 